Hi everyone, welcome to Chorus S. Today we've got the uh, waxing of the chain with speed wax. So let's go through what we're going to need. A uh, swisher tool, packs of speed wax, and we've got my chain link tool. We've got a candle making thermometer with temperatures, black gloves, my son's lunchbox, uh, which I'm coming doing because it's broken, the seal's gone around the edge. Um, I'm going to put my old wax in there. So uh, this is the old wax, uh, pot's a bit uh, caked up. So what I'm going to do is put that old wax in the um, lunchbox and I'm going to use it for uh, rubbing on my frame, make it uh, just to protect it a little bit. I've also got the Sonic Cleaner for the um, cleaning of the chain. So. First of all, I'm going to um, get that moved and then I'll get right back to you. See you soon. Okay, so we've cleaned that up, cleaned the lid, and we've ended up putting it in a one litre uh, ice cream container. A nice soft scoop ice cream container there. And the reason for that is the lunchbox actually had a crack in it. So when I poured the wax in it, it started leaking out all over the bench, uh, as you can see. So I uh, lost a little bit, so we've got, I think that's a litre still, so we've got almost a litre of wax there, which I'll let cool down. Um, so let's get the chain off the bike. Okay, so as you know, this is the Yolio. Um, I've put the quick link right there. So we're just going to use the tool to uh, break it. There we go. Perfect. So what we'll do is we'll just take that off, put it in the sonic cleaner, and then uh, put it into the waxing. Okay, so the chain's off. As you can see, um, we've got bits of wax residue left over from the last one. There's the two quick links. Um, the sonic cleaner is ready to go. Now I'll probably put it on for, um, what are we gonna do? Three minutes, five minutes probably, just for fun. See how that turns out. So I'm going to put it in, drop in the quick links, feed in the chain. Uh, this is just normal chain cleaner. For those of you who don't know, I'll just grab it down. Um, just a chain cleaner, not sponsored by Morgan Blue or anything. It's just the one that I use. It cost me 10.50 for this uh, bottle of uh, one litre. So uh, we're going to put it on. Um, I won't press the button because it makes a awful sound being a sonic cleaner. So um, we'll just put it on and we'll see what it's like when it comes out. So the sun's come out a little bit which is a little bit annoying but that's life. And so I've set up the chain as per the swisher tool instructions. Okay, there we go. Um, in the bag of wax you get a reusable cable tie. Um, and here's the empty bag and um, you can pause this if you want to read the instructions. Okay, so I poured one packet into the... Uh, there you go, you can just about see the balls there. I pour one packet in, that gives me a height of... So that is uh, litres, 1.6 of a litre, 0.4 of a litre, just over. Um, uh, I've also cleaned up the bench, as you can see, uh, there's my part of wax that's cooling down nicely. So let's get this fired up and let's wax the chain. Okay, wax is at 92, 94, 96 degrees. So let's pick up uh, the swisher tool. Dump it in and swish it around. Okay, so we can pull it out. It says hang to cool. So let's get it out. Let's get it up on a nail and hang to cool. Hello, and we're back again. It's actually the next day because I had to uh, go and cook my boys' tea. So, as you can see, uh, they're pretty much waxed. There we go. 
So, what it says is to uh, remove it from the chain tool, um, articulate all the links, and uh, then put it on the bike. So what I'm going to do is I'll do that right now. Okay, so we've got it back on the bike. Um, I can say that articulating those links was really hard. Almost like they were rusted together. Um, so that just indicates to me that the wax has got right into the to the links. Um, first thing I noticed was it's quite loud. I don't know whether that's because it's dead quiet, but um, it's really loud. Louder than it normally is. Um, I've, in, I've just indexed the DI2 again, so uh, um, I don't think it's that. I've indexed them right over the top. The chain's on the right way round. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll quieten down as I'm pedaling, um, but I'm not sure. So that is, um, you can see the wax on there. Uh, yeah, draw ice took a bit of a hit. Um, but yeah, um, overall, let's go closer for that chain. So the wax is in there. It's all waxed up. I'll um, give it a ride um, next time I'm out, probably this weekend, but I don't know when I'll upload the video. Um, and I'll let you know how it was, see if it quietens down a little bit. Um, I'll have another look at that chain set up, but um, it looks right to me, so um, it may be that I'm running over a pulley. No, I'm not running over a pulley there. I thought I might have been running over the guide, but um, no. Perhaps it's just that it's loaded up with wax, just makes it noisy for a little bit. I don't know. Um, right, so that's the end of that. Um, really happy with that so far. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching Kairos House. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye!